Hi everyone, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me here at Friendship Shaving for my weekly shave. Before I start today's shave, I'm going to put on a bit of pre-shave, a bit of Parasso White. Because I'm using an aggressive razor today and I want a little bit of protection on my skin. So I've already washed my face. I'm just going to rub this in and let it sit on my skin while I show you the razor and brush and soap that I'm going to be using in today's shave. I'll show you the brush first. The brush I've got is a Yaki Brush Company brush and it is Henry's Panda. And there's a little bit of a story behind this, but for now I'm just going to pop that back in some water and just let that sit there for a moment. The razor I'm going to be using. Is the Yaki Top Aggressive Slant Bar Razor and it is described in that way on the website. It is a very nice looking razor. This one is the gunmetal colour and I've got it placed on a Bakelite handle from a Makur razor. I think that looks really cool. So I'm going to take that apart show it to you a little bit more and pop a razor in it. Can you see on the underside of the head cap there, it overhangs the guard bar and in fact it, 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 uh, it doesn't just overhang it but the guard bar drops into that little space and so does the razor blade. I'll show you in a moment. It's very nicely finished this razor. It has an open comb on the top cap which you can see. It's beautifully finished in fact. And I'm going to pop a razor blade in there. The one I'm going to be using today is upside down. It is the Treat Dura Sharp and this will be my fourth use of this razor blade. They are made in Pakistan. I quite like this one. So we'll just unwrap that and pop it in. And the edges of the razor blade sit in that little lip. Pop it all together and put the handle on. I notice that the head on this is not very greatly torqued, which some razor, some slant razors are. Personally I'm not sure what difference if any that makes to the shave, it's just something that I've noticed. So you can see on this there is a lot of blade showing. It is in part, I think, because of the open comb on that head cap. The guard plate is a closed bar, but there is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, there is quite a bit of positive exposure on this blade. So it is a very effective razor. It is aggressive. But I find it to be a nice razor. I find it to be quite smooth to shave with. Now the soap I'm using today is a PAA Doppelganger Black Label. And uh, I picked this because of the Spaceman on the label. I've been watching a great film recently that I've enjoyed very much called Hidden Figures. A uh, very good film. Uh, about NASA and particularly about some 
black women uh, in the early 60s that were terrific mathematicians and just achieved great things at NASA and the struggles that they went through. So that was the reason why I picked the black label today. So I've just squeezed my brush and I've got some of my soap in my Old Spice mug. I've got a cap on that and I got that, I think that was off a soap called Velobra and it came with a little cover on it and I've since pinched that for, for my mug. As you can hear, it is easy to bash the side of the mug with these Old Spice shaving mugs, um, especially when you're down at the bottom. They are antique glass, so if you've got one and you use it for soap, just go easy and go carefully. Now I'm going to leave it at that. I've loaded some soap onto my brush. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we shall see as we go along. I may have to revisit the pot, so to speak. So let's face lather with this. And while I'm doing that, I'll tell you. A little bit about the soap. The black label doppelganger is it's well named actually. It is a take on Christiane Dior's scent. Uh, it's completely gone out of my head, please excuse me. Sauvage. It's a take on Christiane Dior's, Dior's Sauvage scent and it is a mildly to medium scented soap and it's a wonderful, wonderful scent. The soap contains some quite exotic butters. Um, let me just wipe the handle of this. It contains Bakuri, Kapawaku and Muramura butters from Brazil. And it gives the soap a lovely post-shave feel, I find. And there are other labels available. There is a green label, which is a take on Paco Rabanne. There's a grey label, which is a take on Aventus Creed. Creed Aventus, rather. And there are a couple of others. Now let's see if I can really get a good lather today. The last time I used this brush I was a bit keen with the water. And I ended up with an extremely thin lather. And I had to go back to get some more soap for my second pass. We're looking a lot better today. I 
I don't want to go too thin, but I do want to get a nice bit of moisture into the soap or into the lather, which will just ease the shave with this aggressive razor. think that will do nicely. So here we go with this razor. I find this to be a terrifically effective shave. If you like an aggressive razor, you will certainly like this one. I think the finish is very nice on this. I don't get any blade chatter or anything like that. It fits together very nicely. It looks great on this handle. I love it. So I'm shaving using no pressure, I'm trying to be nice and light. I find that there's a little bit of a learning curve with this razor. And just there. It just seems to be the perfect angle. It seems, I think, quite easy to miss that angle. You still get a very good shave because the blade is still exposed, but there's definitely an optimum point. Now the first time I shaved with this, it left me sore on my neck. Not excessively so, it was only sore and I had some lumps, and that maybe lasted two or three hours. So for me, I'm going really, really carefully on my neck, but on my face, I've had absolutely no problems whatsoever. See, I was going very carefully there. It is definitely a razor that makes my face naked. The price of the head is $5.50. So, uh, it's another product from Yaki Brush Company that, for that price, it might well be worth you trying. 
And if you do like an aggressive razor, then I think it's safe to say that you will love this one. Now the brush today with the panda on, Henry's brush, you've got a little story to tell about that. I had an email a long time ago now from Henry, who is a friend of the channel. And he told me that he uh, was watching a video and he had an idea for a brush. And he just took a scrap of paper and a pen and jotted it down. And sent that off to Yaki and they produced Henry's brush. Which uh, I think is a fantastic thing. It just goes to show you that if you have the right idea and people like it, they'll go with it. Of course the pandas are revered in China, so one would hope it sells well over there. I think if you had small children and they saw this in your den, you might have to safeguard it. I think it would appeal to small children very much. It is a two band badger knot. And it was pretty smelly, I must say. Uh, I've washed it about five or six times before I used it. It's just clearing now. There is just the slightest hint of that badger scent left on the brush, but hardly anything. And it's a very nice brush. That uh, two band badger knot is really packed and dense. And that comes in at, I've got it written down, $30.72. And I find it's another Yaki brush that is very comfortable to hold. I'm being careful now because I can feel it now. There's definitely a lot of blade feel with this razor. I went with the light handle because I thought it would encourage me to use really light strokes. Got a bit quiet there, really concentrating. This is the area where I'm likely to catch myself with any blade that has a large blade gap. And this one, if I show you, it has got quite a large blade gap there.
I think the difficult part of shaving your top lip or my top lip is not stretching the skin but also making it flat. I'm tempting to find that sort of stretching it like that and blowing just a little bit of air in because if you go too much it curves your skin so Now I've got my mug haven't I that I showed you look with the good ship the friendship the tea clipper but did you know that John H Glenn's craft John Glenn was the first American to orbit the earth in 1962 of course he was beaten to it by Yuri Gagarin in 1961 but John was the first American and his craft was called the Friendship 7 I love stuff like that. That film is really good. Hidden figures if you've not seen it. It's a nice easy watch film. See again there's no advertising on the top of the head and I like the way that DLC Ayaki are going with this subtle advertising. It's much, much better. I love the look of this razor. It is honestly too aggressive for me. I certainly could not use it on a daily basis, but If you do like an aggressive riser, this will suit you down to the ground, I think. It's more aggressive than the Yaki Knight's helmet, which is also called the grill. Now on my neck, I'm going right back, right in the cap. That's where you've got to be careful, isn't it? When you go against the grain on this bit, if you go too far over, you just get under your earlobe there. I nearly did it then. I don't know why, but this razor blade feels a lot more aggressive today than it has done over the last three shaves. And each time I've used this razor,
every two days I can go with this razor. I couldn't go every day. But it really takes the hair off and I certainly won't need a shave tomorrow. Or rather I can get away with not having a shave tomorrow. Nice razor I think, nice looking on a black handle. Now excuse me, I'm just going to drain this water. A bit chock-a-block there. I'll just give the brush a quick rinse while that's doing. There we are, interesting brush. Bit of fun, obviously. It is a 70mm handle and a 53mm loft on a knot and it is a 24mm two band badger. Now I'm going to use some cold water about my Allen block fairly frequently because it is clear as you can see and now I bought it a long time ago but I'm wow under there wow but I think it came from Knut shaving although Don't hold me to that. But it does almost look like I'm rubbing a block of ice on my face. Now, I've got some serious stinging going along under here. Um, other than that, there's some mild stinging around here and a little, well, hardly anything here. So generally, on my neck it's been pretty good but it seems to have just caught me today just down there and that blade did feel quite a bit sharper than the last time I used it two days ago or maybe not sharper but more aggressive so I can't really explain that guys maybe I was doing something different in my shave oh yeah that is a little bit sore That is, well, the new Gillette Heritage is a very nice razor for me. I prefer a razor with just a bit more aggression and blade feel than that one. That's my perfect razor. So this one is a little too far past that for me, personally. But I have enjoyed shaving with it. It is a smooth razor. It gives a remarkably good shave. I'm quite impressed, I must say, even though the razor generally is not for me. feel like I've had a shave with my straight razor, that's how it feels. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the good stuff. Uh, I'm going to use a cooling balm today, I'm going to just use my Nivea Sensitive.
and that is a very nice shave. And that's all from me this week. So I hope you're well. I hope you have a good week ahead. Thanks very much for watching. And let's be careful out there. All the best now. Bye bye.